audience, Mr. Anthony Russell Sr. Anthony? Such a joyous occasion. And I'm standing in for the president of the audience who couldn't be here tonight. But I'm here, as well as everyone here. And I just want to say, the Blue Guardians are an advocacy group in the police department, in Baltimore County Police Department. Uh, we represent minority officers, we represent uh, women, and over the years, we have fought for a lot of things that our collective bargaining unit is not able to fight for. I was able to meet uh, Race and Aisha years ago, and I'm proud to say that they have supported us throughout all of our endeavors. Uh, I think we've known them for maybe six years, maybe six years. And uh, throughout that time, they have really supported us. They've stepped forward and even uh, sometimes taken the front line in reference to some of the things that we have really tried to fight for in reference to diversity, inclusion, and equality within the police department. So we wholeheartedly support them. We wholeheartedly understand that in this trying time of the unfortunate perfect storm we went through last year with a public health situation, with a social situation, and an economic situation, all those things coming together really was a trying time for our nation as a whole. But we, more so than ever, more now than ever, we need people who are going to stand up and support us and fight for what's right. And I know without a doubt that Aisha's gonna do that. So I'm really happy and really excited that Blue Guardian support her. She has supported us throughout the years. Uh, she's an associate member of the Blue Guardians. That's really support. When she became an associate member, that said, okay, wow. She's really putting her best foot forward to try to show us that she's really there for us. So we commend you on your announcement. We commend you with all the other things that you've done. And we wholeheartedly support you along with all the other uh, 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 candidates that are here tonight. But we wholeheartedly support you. And we know that you are going to do what we need you to do in the community to bring both policing and the community together. Because those two things have to work hand in hand. It has to be a partnership. It can't be us against them, them against us. We're all part of the community. And we know that Aisha is gonna represent us the right way. And we support you beyond the shadow of a doubt. Thank you. All right, next, I'd like to welcome some of our interfaith partners here in attendance. Please welcome next from the Kingdom Life Church Apostolic, uh, Pastor John Watson, Angelica Watts. Uh, good afternoon or good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Pastor John Watts, and Pastor Angelica Watts, my wife, we are the pastors of Kingdom Life Church Apostolic, 504 Annabelle Avenue in the wonderful city of Baltimore. So you probably want to know why we are here. Uh, we are not in District uh, 44. Um, I am a uh, resident of Anne Arundel County, in Strong Park. I'm a pastor in uh, Baltimore, and probably in the, one of the most hardest hit communities in uh, Baltimore. And I'm going to make it very quick. And uh, so, but uh, the reason why we're here to support my sister, and she is my sister along with her husband, which is my brother, because she went out of her way to help my church during the pandemic. My church is in the uh, Southern District of Baltimore where we have poor everybody. And she went out of her way to uh, bring in food to help us collect food, all the, uh, uh, the, the resources. And I want to say personally, thank you. I never got a chance to really say thank you publicly, but we thank God for you and we pray that you will take uh, District 44 and uh, move forward and to help all of us across our city. I think my husband spoke so eloquently uh, regarding this amazing and courageous, I call her a woman of valor. And that's what came to my mind. And then when I, when my husband told me we were coming here, and there are many, there's a surge of the rise of women in positions of power. Oftentimes, power can be abused and manipulated. And I believe that Aisha is not going to abuse or manipulate her position of power, but she will be able to impact the world, 
create opportunities and promote the lives and well-being of many in her community to impact the world. So Aisha, may God give you strength during this time and I believe that you're gonna be a great impact and advocate for change in District 44. God bless you. Okay, next I'm very proud to welcome some very stalwart, hardworking Democrats here in the state. Uh, two of them you'll get to meet. Um, this job can be very thankless, especially running central committees. I know that firsthand, uh, serving as chair in Howard County, but please welcome your Baltimore County State Central Committee folks. But first I'd like to welcome member of the Baltimore County Democratic Central Committee, Mr. George White. Okay, good evening. Peace, shalom, assalamu alaikum. I just want to just uh, thank Aisha for inviting me today and, and just to share a few kind words and just true words. Uh, I met Aisha a few years ago and we started out just doing volunteering good work in the community. And from that day on, we have been like, uh, let's say, two peas in the pot. But anyway, I just want to thank you, Aisha, for what you're doing, stepping up. She and I work together on the uh, Baltimore County Democratic Central Committee in District 44B. But I noticed that she's ready to go to another level. I totally support you in that endeavor because, as it was mentioned earlier, down in the Maryland General Assembly, they need, they need people that bring a spiritual awakening. And that's what you will bring along with your determination and your fortitude. So again, I thank you. I wish you all the best. Clearly, Aisha comes with a lot of support, especially from good, sour Democrats here. So please welcome your next Democratic State Central Committee member from Baltimore County, Bishop Barry Chapman. Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm so glad to be here uh, for this wonderful event. And I'm so glad to also support uh, Aisha Khan. H and I met uh, on the Central Committee. Actually, I think we met before the Central Committee. Uh, and uh, I met up her wonderful husband, Reese. And uh, we kind of like created like a little coalition, you know, making sure that things in the community uh, are taken care of, particularly, you know, people who don't have a voice. Uh, as well as, you know, H and I have you know, had some political storms together on the such committee where where basically, you know, sometimes in politics, um, you have a scenario going on where 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 men, sort of like the controller talked about, is that, you know, well we're gonna beat up on women because we can beat up on women. Well, I was actually raised by a woman with a medicine. So I, I don't play it. So if, if they're gonna be beat up on women, they can't do it around me. Okay, so and I'm like, I'm gonna take the text. So Aisha and I have experienced that um, for no reason at all. Uh, you know, Aisha has had to experience uh, people who had no really reason to not like her or to think that she was genuine and considerate about the community. And so when we were going through those experiences, I said, well, hell no, we're not dealing with that. And if you want to fight about it, then I'm your man. I'll meet you over there wherever this fight will start. Because you can't deal with um, beating up on women around me. I was raised by very loving and strong women. And if you think about it, in history, why is it always that women like gotta reach down and chart and pick and pull us out of the crap we be in? Y'all ever notice that? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what happens all the time. So so that's another reason why women really want to be in politics. Just to balance it out. Because we got this little male dominated thing going on where, oh, oh, the men are in charge and you know, they they the powerful and and, and no, we not gonna share that. Well, really? Well, that's, that's not really what's going on because actually women are the mothers of civilization. As in case somebody didn't notice, we really all would be. But, Asia, this is your day. I love you. Yeah, I'm with you. 
I've, I've never pushed you to the side. When the political storms have come, as you very well know, I've been there on the battleground which you defended you against those people who are not enlightened. Like okay? And, and I thank you all very much. And yes, I support AC Collin. Okay, and that's where we at. So, Asia's going to be a great leader. I mean, she has compassion. It's going to be cool. So, you know, the legislature need to welcome her with open arms. And that's all I have to say. And I, I think she's going to be here today. Thank you very much. Please welcome uh, your local councilman here, hard worker from Baltimore County. Please welcome Councilman Julia Jones. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Who's tracking, who's tracking time when my day starts at like 7 o'clock in the morning? But uh, I'm Julian Jones. I'm the chairman of the County Council. I'm happy to be here. Uh, Aisha, I met you, I don't know how many years ago, but uh, you worked very, very hard. Uh, you came very close last time, and I really think you're going to do it this time, and I think you're going to make us all very proud. So uh, I'm happy to be here. It's good to see everybody. Uh, uh, I see quite a few friends in the audience, and I'm happy to know that you're here supporting Aisha. I thank uh, I thank you, Thomas, and I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.